Hi guys, Shantin here. I am here to show you my Hacienda, which I'm going to call Finished, even though I know I'll be fiddling around with it for ages. Where am I, you may ask? I am standing, just turn round, next to the Iron Titan, and I have my back to the fabulous jungle trees which mark the entrance to my hacienda. I'm just going to switch views. There we go. I am in the process of making a bridge. The bridge is not finished. I need to work out the supports and the lighting. But that is my hacienda up there, which I absolutely love. I'm really, really liking. Uh, being up on the hill and the build and everything like that, just sometimes something fires your imagination. As you can see, I have been making custom trees with red stems and oak leaves, purely because I tried so often to grow acacia trees that look good, and they just will not grow <laughs> as you want. You can see the remnants of one tree up there. Uh, so I've decided to go for custom trees, I have decorated the hillside a little bit. Yes, it's yellow and red and green and all those wonderful colours. And I have used watermelons uh, for decoration. I tried using uh, the pumpkins, but I have to say they look dreadful because the masks face this way. So we have another custom tree here. We out look over the desert, as you can see coming up into my hacienda. As you can see, I have not quite finished the surroundings of the floor. I'm deciding what to do with that at the moment, whether this looks like green carpet or just like grass. I have made myself an enchanting room in here. Why I'm saying I've made myself, and most of it has been contributed by Dorg, I don't know. This is in fact the house that Dorg built because he has contributed so many of the materials in this house. So there's an enchanting room here. My chests I'm leaving here. I think I may leave them on the green and the dirt because I think that putting anything else there might take away from some of the nice colouring. Up here I have a bedroom, as usual looking over the westering sun. Like most Spanish homes, I'm making use of the roof space. It is beginning to be a bit of an outdoor garden. Uh, there is potential here, I think, for maybe a little bit more. And along here, I have a veranda. It seemed to lend itself wonderfully to looking over the terrain. So I have a veranda to match the one on the other side. Coming out at the back. I have taken down one of the oak trees that was obscuring everything. This, I think, is looking quite good. I have not overplanted the garden here. It's a bit wild and woolly. And I'm, those of you who deal with roofs will know how long getting this roof line right and the balcony line has taken me. It is quite extraordinary how long you can spend fiddling around. So, we have seen the hacienda from this angle. It's rather good with the two wings sticking out. And obviously we have seen the entrance here as it follows its way down the hillside. Let us go through down the back. I have completed the staircase down here and found some absolutely massive caves. And then looking at it from the other side, hello rabbit, can I come and stand next to you? Let's have a look at the hacienda, there we are. It's looking pretty good. I think the roof lines finally work. So I might take one of those corners out just a little bit more. And I think that looking upwards, the custom trees do add a nice note of variety in comparison to the rest. I think the acacia trees would have been too dark up there. And I have had an extraordinary success today. I came on 
just to finish one of the custom trees I was building up there. And in fact, I found a present for Dorb. And it's not often you can find a present for Dorb. So that's my Hacienda, which I'm calling completed. But Dorb had one lonely sheep. And I have been here so long that many of the friendly mobs have started spawning in. And Dorb... Oh, let me just get the cursor back on and I can find the button. Oh, don't you just love steel doors? Look what I found for you. A second sheep. And to you too. So there are no longer lonely sheep here. I have absolutely no idea how to get this sheep into that pen. So I've decided to leave it there if you dog and you can work out where you want it if you want it in the same place, but at least you now have two sheep. And the entrance to my hacienda is now up this wonderful flight of stairs along here through the jungle trees over in that direction. So guys, I hope you like my hacienda and I will say with the cursor out of my face I will say bye-bye.